The community is doing all they can to keep Payton City High School open after the superintendent of Wetzel County Schools announced that the school would be temporarily closed for the next school year. 7 News reporter Jake McLumphy was at a community meeting in Payton City today and shares what citizens and students are most concerned about and why they believe the school should remain open. Hundreds of community members showed out on Sunday to discuss plans on how to reverse the temporary closing of Payton City High School. Due to the high school sitting on a plume of the chemical PCE, Wetzel County Schools announced the students and staff would be relocated to neighboring schools for the 2024-2025 school year until further notice. Many people in the community believe there are ways to keep the students out of the current building while still keeping them in Payton City. We have the buildings in town, we have gymnasiums in town that aren't fully used, that can be used for our sports teams. We have fields in the, in the park here that can be used as an athletic field for band practices and we can borrow other football fields for football games. Um, we have the facilities, we have the, the means, we should have the means provided to us to keep our students in Payton City and if not in that school building, then at least within city limits as Payton City High School. Akira Burchard is currently a senior at Payton City High School and she says the recent news has been devastating. This place treats you like family and to find out last minute that this school was taken away from us, that this family is being ripped apart, it, it breaks my heart. One big concern among citizens is access to their kids in an emergency if they are at another school in another town. For the community, it means you know, ensuring of safety. You know? You're right here in town. Your kid's fine. You can get to them if you need to. Like, you don't have to worry about a car breaking down. You don't have to worry about a train being across the track. You don't got to worry about all that. The outpouring of community support was obvious on Sunday. And one student says it shows how much the school means to everyone. It definitely makes me feel um, proud of my school and who I am and where I come from. And I definitely know that it feels the same way for the younger students and the previous graduates of Payton City High School. As one of the smaller communities in the region, the school plays a crucial role in what Payton City is all about. The school is a vital part of the vitality and life of this community and we need it here to keep this town on the map. Once the town this size loses the school, it's going to be very difficult to keep the town identity. In a statement from the West Virginia Department of Education, they state that they support Superintendent Porter's decision to temporarily close the school due to the underlying health risks that it brings. Reporting in Payton City, for 7 News, I'm Jake McGlumphy, working for you.